Hi, welcome to Troubadour's video review of the Coolance VID428 GPU water block. So here's the packaging for the Coolance VID428. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, here's our comprehensive instruction guide for the installation. And this card's pretty, looks pretty easy to install. And inside here we've got our packaging with our thermal paste. We've got a cutting guide for our thermal pads. And there's actually two different thickness thermal pads in this package. We've got our replacement screw set. And here's our coolant water block. I like the way they package these up in these plastic envelopes. Definitely stops and getting scuffed up during shipping, that's for sure. But uh, very, very nice water block. And we'll take it out of the packaging so you can see that in a moment. And here's your memory heatsink. It's uh, black anodized aluminium or aluminum if you're in the US. And this goes on the back of the card. Uh, we've actually got it marked on there as well where to put the thermal pads to keep those memory chips cool. And this is the Coolant's VID 428 water block. The water block is very well engineered and machined out of one and a half pounds or 650 grams of high density copper. Comes with this nice nickel plated finish as well for high corrosion resistance. And uh, the block is actually designed to conduct the heat from all the primary heat producing components on the GTX 260 and 280, including the voltage regulators. Uh, Coolant has also started installing a clear acrylic window, uh, so you can actually see the cooling fluid through their logo there. That's a real nice cosmetic addition. And one of the other big factors I like with these Coolant cards are these uh, G quarter nozzle threading configurations here on the top of the card. Fantastic if you're going to be running three way SLI, makes for a super, super clean installation. Um, I love it really love it clean install fantastic for airflow through the case let's have a look at the memory backing plate this is the aluminum plate for the memory uh, this is the cooler for the back of the card it comes with all the key areas heat producing areas where you need to put your thermal pads already pre-marked out so we're going to install these and uh, put these cards through their paces in the crisis cruncher so let's finish buttoning up this install. Uh, this is the Coolance VID 428 water block, obviously on the GTX 280. I'll be making a video install review after this. So if you wish to buy this block, it'll make your life a little, little easier. And this is what we're putting in. This is the weaponry in the Crisis Cruncher today. Three GTX 280s with the Coolance VID 428 water blocks installed. A lot of you guys have asked me what kind of wattage we run with these cards. And there you go, 765 it topped out. That's under benchmark conditions. Been benchmarking now for an excess of two hours uh, on air. This is where we've been doing it. This is the fans running on automatic 87, 87, 78. Nothing near what you saw in the last couple of videos where a card burnt up, but there's still a potential there. That was days testing that time. And let's see what we got with fans on 100%, 72, 70, 64. Significantly lower temperatures, obviously, from running the fans on 100%. But if you know these cards and you've run the fan at 100%, you'll probably get your plugs in by now. Those fans howl, absolutely howl at you. Let's see what it's like on water. Whoa! 48, 47, 45. Of course, all these cards have been run with a 7, 10 megahertz core clock, 15, 12 shader. These, these blocks are doing their job phenomenally. Absolutely phenomenal, sucking the heat right off those cards. Let's have a look inside the case. Look at that, it's like a big brick. That's a block. Unbelievable, that thing is definitely restricting airflow. And here it is with the water blocks installed. Look how clean that install is. Super smashing, fantastic. Look at the airflow you get around those cards with those water blocks. The Coolant VID 428 GPU water block 
runs at a staggeringly cool $104.99, that's US dollars of course, as opposed to some of its opposition out there, its competitors, which the Danger Den Titan comes in at $144.99, and the EVGA Hydrocopper, which comes in at $179.99. Of course, the cost of the coulants does not include the cost of any nozzles whatsoever, so those will be an additional expense for your installation. However, if you are going to be installing in a three-way SLI setup, uh, like I showed in the video, I uh, highly recommend the Coulant's CNT VD2 nozzles to go in between those cards for a very, very nice, super clean installation. I'd just like to say a couple of you guys in Europe, you European YouTubers, have sent me lots and lots of messages in the last few months asking where can you get some of the Coulance products. Well, if you can log on to the Coulance.com website, uh, they will actually take your order and they will ship overseas to Europe. So feel free to do that and you can open the gateway to some of these new products and try them out. Overall, the Coulant VID-428 is a high-quality, well-engineered product with the potential of keeping your GTX 260-280 temperatures in the low 50s range, even under hard and heavy overclocking conditions as you witnessed. Uh, the Coulant VID-428 water block is 100% Trubitar approved. Thanks again for all you guys watching my Troubadours videos. I would especially like to thank my subscribers out there, as well as you guys who rate these videos and post comments on them. However, if you do enjoy these videos, feel free to become a subscriber and subscribe so you can get the indication and the emails as soon as these new videos come out on the web. Thanks again.